What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Linkine SP6 Smart Solar Pathway Lights. These lights are packed with a ton of features including app connectivity, MPPT solar charging, wireless synchronization, and much much more as well. So if you happen to be shopping for outdoor solar lights, stick around and I'll be going over everything that makes these some of the best ones on the market. All right, so taking a look inside the box, this is everything that you get. This is a four pack, so there's four of everything you see right here. So we have the actual light module here. We have the ground stake. We have the lens that goes over the light. And then we have four of these projection lenses, which is what makes the lighting pattern on the ground. So first thing you wanna do is install your projection lenses. They simply turn and lock into place like that. Be sure to look at the manual as these do install in a certain way but they also have little icons here to help you get them installed as well. And inside the box, they do include a fifth lens. So if you don't like one of these four defaults, you can go ahead and swap that out with this one as well. Once you get all the lenses installed, that's when you put this lens cap on right here. Make sure you turn these on and synchronize this in the app first, as this is a very tight fit, as it's meant to be waterproof. So it's much easier to synchronize this and then go ahead and finish assembling it. And then you have the ground stake, which comes in three pieces. Very tight fit as well. So I found that works easiest is to push in and turn at the same time. And that'll make it go in much quicker versus just pressing down. And then once you have the full stake installed, that's when you just press down and turn onto the light as well. And then this is what the finished light looks like. So here in the top, this is where you have your solar panel. As I said earlier, this has MPPT solar charging. This has solar.tech, which delivers 89.9% .9 charging efficiency, even in low light conditions. These also have very good battery life as well with up to 12 hours of runtime or 14 hours in eco mode. And then right here at the top, you also have a standard USB-C cable, so you can charge these manually as well. Definitely a big fan of that. I have some older lights from this company and that was my only gripe that didn't have a USB-C port. So if you go through a long winter or many rainy days where there's not much sun, you can go ahead and manually charge it. And then this is also gonna be helpful if you wanna place these in an area that doesn't get much sunlight. A little bit of extra work to have to manually charge it, but nice to have that additional option. All right, so this is actually my first time installing and seeing these lights right now. And before I dive into any of the features, I gotta say I am in absolute awe at how good these lights look. I've used a lot of solar lights at this point, and these are just much brighter and more vivid than any other solar lights I've used. As you can see here, this is lighting up the area very, very well. I set them all to different colors, and as you can see, they all look very bright and vivid. Right now, typically at this time, my yard is pitch black, but thanks to these lights, this is lighting up the area very well. Walking through here, a lot of times I'm worried I might run into a skunk or a raccoon or something like that, but this just makes everything very, very easy to see. And as you can see here, the light scatters out in quite a large pattern. Half of it goes on this side, half on that side. And I have them going all the way around this way and then all the way over there as well. As you can see here, these lights do have a true tunable white as well, meaning you can put this anywhere from a warm white to a cooler white. And as you can see, these are absolutely great looking with the white light on. I like them in the colors, but I think for regular everyday use, I'm gonna have it set like this on white because to me, this looks like pure, absolute luxury. And as you can see, once again, it does a very good job of lighting up the grass and the yard. Definitely very, very versatile lights with a ton of different features, but if the lights didn't look all that great, then the features aren't that useful. But fortunately in this case, these are very, very good solar lights and probably the best solar lights I've used so far. All right, so as far as setup goes, this is very easy. Just assemble the light, which is the stake and the lens that attaches to the actual light piece. Each light will probably take you about 30 seconds to put together. Come outside, stick it in the ground where you want it with the built-in stake. Sync it up in the Bluetooth app and that's pretty much all there is to it. One thing I gotta say is like I said earlier, these are very bright, much brighter than regular solar lights. A lot of solar lights put out a tiny circle, maybe about this big, maybe a little larger, but these actually have a four foot lighting radius. So as you can see here, each individual light lights up about four feet and it's recommended to install these seven feet apart so the patterns aren't overlapping. But of course, if you wanted more condensed light, you could always put them closer together. 
but just as a rule of thumb, if you're planning to buy these, four foot lighting radius and recommended to put seven feet apart. I actually ended up buying more than I needed. I didn't expect them to be this bright. So don't judge them in the same way that you would with other regular solar lights that you might get from Home Depot or Menards. Because once again, these are much brighter and put out a larger lighting radius as well. So these lights have a ton of different features that separate them from 99% of every other solar light out there. And first off, one of the big things is these have wireless synchronization. So first off, they have Bluetooth app connectivity, but they can also communicate to each other wirelessly as well. So typically to get lights that kind of have scrolling colors or light shows and things like that, you would need to have wire lights. But this gives you all the benefits of a wire light, except these are completely wireless. And even better than wire lights, since you're not tethered to an outlet, you can pretty much install these anywhere and even split them up all around the house, which is not something you can do with plug-in lights. So as the name implies, these are solar pathway lights. So one of the most common ways is gonna be to put them on both sides of a path to light up the path and then the surrounding area as well. But besides being pathway lights, these are also gonna be good yard accent lights as well. Again, kind of hard to see as it is dark, but I do have one right here next to a plant. And that's giving off a good light to light up some of the plant and some of the surrounding area. Again, just a very nice and luxurious look. And then last but not least, it's going to be good to light up seating areas outside as well. So right here in the middle, I have a table and I have four lights all around it. And as you can see, it provides very good light all around the table. So if you're sitting out here in pitch black darkness like I am now, this is going to make it so much easier to see your surroundings. So definitely very versatile lights. All right, so taking a look at the app, this is what it looks like. A lot of good and useful features in here. One of the things I dreaded about these lights, as soon as I took them out of the box, I saw how many there was, and I really dreaded having to go one by one connecting them all to Bluetooth. But one thing I discovered is you can actually link 10 of these all at the same time. So turn them all on, all 10 will pop up in the app, and you just click on all the check marks and sync them up all very quickly. I have 12 right now, so all I have to do was set up the 10, go back to add more, add the other two, and within less than a minute, they were all synced up here in the app. And as you can see, I have them all right here. And once you get them synced up, you can also add them to groups. So right now I have one group, and that's for all of these lights here. And then I have another group, and that's for the four that I had around the little table. Besides groups, you also have another quick and efficient way to set these up. So you can make all your customizations here, and once you have all the settings set up how you like, instead of having to go to the other lights and synchronize those as well, you just come over here and put copy work mode. And that'll grab all the settings for the current light you just set up. And you can click on all the other lights and it'll automatically transfer all your settings as well. So a lot of really cool features to make them work wirelessly, but not have the hassle of having to set up every single one of them individually. All right, so looking at the main page for each light, Right now I have the app going and that's controlling this light right here so you can see some of the features. First off, like I said earlier, you have four patterns and there's no lenses or opening up the light or anything like that. It's all completely automatic right here from the app. So we have that pattern. We have the circular pattern. We have this one which kind of looks like a snowflake somewhat. And then we have the star pattern. As I showed you earlier, you also have one more pattern in the box. So if you don't like any of these four here, you could also go ahead and swap that out with the other one that it came with as well. And then right now I have it on 1% brightness. Here it is at about 50. And then there it is at the lowest. Honestly, the lights that you get from like Home Depot that cost like 15, 20 bucks each, they're probably somewhere around that brightness. So just to show you a comparison, right now it's at 1% and that's 100%. The exposure is gonna change a little bit on the camera, so it's hard to see how bright it really is. But again, definitely a light that has as much brightness that you could possibly want. Or if you just wanted a small accent light somewhere, you could go ahead and just fine tune that brightness how you want it. And once again, every single light is customizable. So you can put some brighter and some dimmer depending on where you have them in your house. And then coming right down here, this is where you have your color customization. This has 16 million colors. So you can choose from any color you could imagine. You got green, yellow, and you can see just how vivid those colors are. Just a very vivid and bright LED color. And like I said earlier, besides the regular colors, you can also tune this to different shades of white as well. So right here, it's all the way more yellow. Right here, it's all the way on the right to 6,500K. And then right here, we have like a medium soft white. And besides the toggle up there, you can also choose from some here. And then these have two different light modes. So they have luminance detection. This works similar to a lot of other solar lights where 
when the sun comes out, they'll automatically shut off. And then when it detects it gets dark, they'll turn on on their own. So that's probably the best way to leave them. And then we also have scheduled mode as well. So if you want them on at certain times and off at other times, you can go ahead and customize it right here. So we have the brightness and then we have the time that it'll come on and then the time it'll come off. To take things even further, this also has custom schedules for the luminance detection as well. So maybe you want them on when you get home from work, but you don't need certain lights on in certain areas throughout the night. So you can go ahead and have those shut off at certain times and turn on at other times as well. So definitely a lot of customizations when it comes to schedules and colors. All right, so one thing I just noticed is this one right here, I installed the lens on the wrong position. So when you set these up, make sure you put them all in the same spots. It will show you where to put them in the manual. But this one, I put one of the lenses in the wrong position. So when I have it set to this pattern in the app, it's actually displaying that pattern. So definitely double check the lights when you set them up and make sure every lens is all on the same position. All right, so moving to one of the best features on these lights, and that's the dynamic light show. So a lot of solar lights on the market, they change blue, green, yellow, and they all just kind of do the same thing. So they'll all turn blue, they'll all turn yellow. And, and while that looks okay, that's not really comparable to the nicer effects that you get with wired lights. But with these, you do get those features where every light is going to be doing something different and moving in a sequence. So let me go ahead and show you this in the app right now. So first off, when you install these right here on the top, there's a way to set up the order. So when you click on that, you click on this button test. And as you can see over here, that's number six. I set it up in the app to be number six in the sequence. If I click on another one, this one is number four. So once you have them all placed in the ground, you just got to click on test. It'll blink and just tell the app what order of the sequence you want that app. And then it'll go ahead and basically make a wireless chain of all the lights. Just a side note, to get this light show feature, you do have to add all the lights to a group. So you won't be able to do it individually from the toggles here. You have to make a new group. And then within that group, that's when you get that dynamic light show. So as you can see here, you have quite a few different shows. This is going to be really good for holiday effects. So up here we have some for Halloween, some for Christmas, and then a few other random ones. And there's even a DIY effect, which I'll show you in a little bit. So first off, we have Pumpkin Party. And as you can see, like I said, they're all moving in a sequence. So this one is just the orange light scrolling. Next, we have Thunderstrike. This one's a little more dynamic, a little crazy looking, flickering between that uh, white and blue. Here we have one called Spellbound Spectre, more calm, kind of scrolling lights with purple, green, and blue. Very nice Halloween looking theme. And these ones I'm looking at right now are for Halloween themes. Here we have one called Pulse of Blood. This will be fantastic if you have some Halloween music going on outside. Kids are coming by trick-or-treating. This just looks like the perfect immersive lighting. I can almost guarantee you're not going to pass by any houses that have crazy lighting like this out in their yard or their front lawn. Definitely a complete attention grabber. Put these out in the yard on Halloween. I'm almost certain a lot of parents and people are going to be asking what these lights are. All right, let's move to another category. All right, some Christmas ones. With Christmas around the corner, I'm probably going to use these very soon. This one is called Christmas Cheer. This looks like standard Christmas lights that you would see in your window. And these can be forward or backward. So right now I have it forward. It's going that way. And now I set it to backward. So as you can see, they're now scrolling in the opposite direction. So depending on how you have these set up, you can go ahead and change that direction. This one is called Winter Wonderland. Oh, that one definitely looks very cool. If you imagine this going onto opposite sides of a front path to your house. Again, definitely a complete attention grabber. I have never walked by a house and seen effects like this out in their lawn. I'm pretty sure nobody has seen something like this very often either. Let's look at a few more. Here we got rainbow. This one's a little more basic, but also cool looking. Pretty much just a rainbow that scrolls with different colors. So as you can see, lots of different presets to play with. As I said earlier, you have the DIY option. So you can go ahead and make your own presets. Here they have a whole bunch of different effects you can choose from. You can choose the scrolling speed and then you could put your own colors. So if you have a certain preset here that you like, but you want it in certain colors, you can go ahead and customize this. So lots of stuff you can do here. Maybe your kids school colors. If they're coming from graduation, you can go ahead and put the whole lawn as that colors. Maybe it's a football game, Chicago Bears or something. You can go ahead and put the Bears colors on these lights and have it scroll in whatever pattern you like. All of that is already a ton of features and way more than you would get on any other solar lights. But just to make things even better, these also have music mode. So when you turn on music mode, you have a few different presets here. 
So there's a few different categories and then there's a few of them in each category. And this will make the lights synchronize to the music on your phone. So there you see it. Going with the beat of the music and it does have adjustable sensitivity. So if the music is a little more vibrant, you can set the sensitivity higher. Then if it's something slower, you might want to lower that or just to get it synchronized with the right sounds that you want. This is gonna be so useful on Halloween. Again, put some spooky music outside and this is gonna be blinking and going along with the music. I keep saying it throughout the video, but again, this is not something I've seen on any other solar lights on the market. I don't even think these are the best solar lights on the market. I'm 99% sure these have to be because there's no other company that's doing crazy things like you're seeing right now. There's another music mode called Rainbow. Go to another category. This one's called Frightening Moment. As you can see, a little more Halloween-y. And then they have one called Romantic. This one is Dazzling Light. So I guess these are like more romantic themes, but with the music I'm playing right now, it looks a little crazier, but if you lower the sensitivity and play this with a slower song, that's what it'll look a lot more soothing. As you all know, I review tons of tech every single month and it's not often that a product surprises me and really excites me, but this has to be one of them. I guess I'm just getting old, but hands down, these gotta be the coolest lights and one of the best home upgrades that I've done to my house this year. Overall, these are definitely some of the best solar lights on the market. They're packed with a ton of features, they have plenty of brightness, and best of all, they also come at a very good price as well. So all in all, if you happen to be shopping for outdoor lighting, I would highly, highly recommend these here, which again are the Linkine SP6 Smart Solar Pathway Lights. And if you are interested right now would definitely be the best time to buy one as they're currently running a 23% off Black Friday sale, which expires on December 1st. If you would like to purchase or get more information, I'll also have the link in the description as well. All right, well, that wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.